didn't get Vince out of bed. <laughs> we're all looking like a gremlin. Hello. How was the waves looking today? Uh, I just forgot what I looked like. It was probably like two feet, but I think they were smaller than they were smaller than the weekend, right? Because yeah. this weekend, this weekend was a little rough. <laughs> well, Thursday was really nice. Like Thursday was great. I feel like I made a lot of progress because they were like really smooth, rolling waves, and a little bit bigger. So there's like plenty for everybody. And then Friday, it was a little bit rougher, and there were a ton of like longboarders out there that kept swiping waves from everybody. Oh, shit, You know, paddling out faster than you could get back out, and then just like snagging the wave before you could even. So you're just watching them and trying to avoid them the whole time, which is annoying and rude. Um, I'll turn the camera around because I'm going to be. I'm going to get dressed right now, too. Uh, so since it's like, I don't know. 80 it's almost 80 degrees today it's really warm it's actually kind of too warm for my spring suit but i'm gonna wear it anyway just because it gives me a little bit of extra protection and um doheny beach where we are it's like just south of la um just north of san Clemente, dana point um it is rocky it's all rocks on the bottom um where the surfing is good it's called the boneyard <laughs> definitely uh a little more injury prone over here so a thicker wetsuit will protect from that. It's too hot for me to wear my two millimeter one. I would just bake. Otherwise I would like to wear like protection also, but it's just too hot. I'm, I'm halfway decent, but oh, wetsuits man. are actually the bane of my existence. I get really claustrophobic and uh, kind of panicky. So I would almost always rather wear this one anyway because it's faster to get on. It's like half the effort without having to put anything on my legs. But. But, ugh, must be done. Ugh. Do you want to bring a bag or? Oh uh, yeah, we'll need to bring shoes, I think. Yeah, Because it's really sunny least. today. We needed two last time too, it was too hot. I'm gonna bring my T-Vez. I saw everyone like running because it was burning everyone's feet. They're all like, ow, 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 ow. Yeah. <laughs> Ouch. And then, because otherwise it starts to come unzipped, I always tuck my little thing on the zipper. I always tuck it down in. Okay. Go you. Sounds good. One thing that's happened to me this summer is that my hands are like extra brown <laughs> than the rest of my skin, which I find very annoying because your hands already age faster because of the sun. And like when you're using your hands in and out of the water, the sunscreen doesn't stay on as good, but like there's nothing I can do. So I guess I just have darker hands than the rest of me. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> Um, let's see. So I have a bunch of different sunscreens and I kind of trade them all out as I go. I'm breaking out right now because I haven't been good about washing them off. But that's fine because one of them is tinted so you can't even see all my breakout once it gets on. Uh, I have this scalp and hair mist also from Sunbum that I like to put kind of where like where sunscreen can't go. It has a little bit of alcohol in it so don't use this if you um, are already sunburned. Uh, but otherwise then I like to put on Oh, here it is. <laughs> so this, um, it's from Abib, A-B-I-B, -B, on, I found it on Amazon, um, and it's SPF 50, I might have shown it in a past vlog, I can't remember. Um, it's SPF 50, and it's just like a nice, kind of skin-colored, mostly translucent, kind of a stick. Um, it's SPF 50, and the, it's like water-rated for 80 minutes, and most of my other face sunscreens are not rated for that long, so I like to use this one on bottom over my whole face. Also this red mark right here, I was reading last, or a couple nights ago actually, I was reading in bed and my iPad dropped on my face, right on my nose. It hurts so bad and I had a headache the next day. So good job, Emma. Um, also don't forget your eyelids when you're putting on sunscreen because your eyelids can also get skin cancer. And uh, if you get skin cancer on your eyelids, they have to cut them off while you're awake. And then this one is like the heavy duty stuff. This is a zinc. Yeah, this one's chemical. This one's a zinc. Um, sunscreen just tends to stick a little bit better. It's called Sun Zapper. I think I saw it on like an Australian um, recommended list um, because Australians obviously surf a lot. And have you me the t-shirt I'm using? Which one? The gray one? Yeah. Here you go. Thank you. So this one's like, it's not exactly my skin tone, but it's close enough and it actually does do an amazing job. I'm not sure if this is what's breaking me out or not, but I don't really have a choice because I don't want to be sunburned more than I don't want to have a breakout. <laughs> I just 
kind of honestly like pat it in like I would foundation. And then once you're in the water, literally no one cares. You see people with like white ghost faces from zinc sunscreen all of the time and literally nobody cares, which is kind of nice. We're all in this together. And surfing, you really don't get close enough to see anybody anyway. Uh, okay, and the last I like to put on SPF 50. Um, when I go to a reef, like Cardiff Reef or Seaside Reef is where I've been hanging out, um, I braid my hair up because there's all these like little tiny bits of seaweed in the water, which are so annoying to try to pick out later. And they're the, also, they're like the exact same brown as my hair. So I just end up like with a bunch of seaweed in my hair, I can't get out. Oh, I need to take off my rings too. Um, but here it doesn't matter so much. There aren't any, there isn't a lot of seaweed. We did see a sea turtle the other day. That was fun. Popped his little head up right next to us. I don't think I've ever seen a sea turtle in California before, so that was fun. Okay, so just put some screen on my hands. Not that it lasts, but I do what I can. <laughs> and Vince, usually, since he gets done faster than me, he always takes the boards off the van and gets them ready. Here's our uh, case for our GoPro. We just have like a leash and it's nice and puffy and orange so that it doesn't sink to the bottom of the ocean. There they go. We have to walk all the way over there. Aha, found the button. <laughs> Look at this tiny lady with the big surfboard. It's too wide, I can't, I can't put it on my I'm so arm. sorry. I have to hold it on my head. Yeah, mine is like just barely long enough so I can hold it with one hand. My goal is just to get good enough at surfing that I can get um, a fiberglass board that I can carry easier. Oh, yeah. That's like literally my only goal. <laughs> but it's easier to take in So out. you can do it like this guy down there? Yeah. Sorry, peeps, squeak. How long have we been doing this so far? Since June. Damn, already? Yeah. We started oh. like. We actually got the surfboards like beginning of May. We just, then you got injured. Oh yeah. So we didn't like really start doing it consistently until June. Worst part about going surfing is carrying your board while walking in the sand. My arm always feels like it's gonna get pulled out of its socket. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, my fingers are starting to get a little bit tired. <laughs> well, I didn't get that one anyway, so I was gonna break it. Woohoo! If you find one, you can take it Like it was a rock, like I felt the rock. Uh, ouch. Okay, guys, this is America, which means you gotta do your own face. You can go to the hospital. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay, anyone who's squeamish, look away now. Ew. That's what we're dealing with. I'm sorry for what's about to happen. I'm just gonna let it run down your hand, okay? Yeah, go for it. Oh. I know, I know. Fucking. <laughs> I think that's good, right? Touching his brother like that. No. Oh, buzz. They're so happy with the door open. We got this. Earl. This bug. Um. <laughs> it was a big investment. It was probably what three hundred fifty bucks for that um that bug wall. Actually, a little bit less, I think. I think it was three hundred. Like about three hundred, though. Okay. Well. Anyway, we got that, and they've been so happy. They love having the door open. Okay. Now I am going to make myself a quick protein shake and have a bowl of cereal.
Vincent does this shake lots of times with like banana and um, peanut powder in this and milk, which sounds really good too. But I just love strawberry so much. Add some creatine to the mix. It's flavorless, so it just disappears in there. talented Mr. Ripley which was kind of slow going but I just wanted to read something like shorter and like a classic for a break in between like what I've also been reading I did a quick breakfast for dinner I made Vincent a uh, fried egg and sausage he added some English muffins I'm just doing eggs and bacon <laughs> how's your hand bleeding a little <laughs> Oof. Yeah. Boo. Yeah. Ouch. Whoa. We're Hello. going back out. Hello. Oh, is it recording? Hi. Yeah. I pressed the button by accident, so I guess we're recording. <laughs> um, yeah, we're going back out. It's the next day. Um, I thought about wearing the same wetsuit and just putting all the montage together because it's not like you'd be able to tell it was a different day, but it's just quite frankly too hot today. <laughs> I was almost too warm in my wetsuit, in like my shorty wetsuit yesterday. So today we're doing a swimsuit and a rash guard. Um, yeah, we're going back out. Vincent liquid bandaged his hand real good. It's looking okay. So I think that we're okay, but. Much better. You did such a good job taking care of it, so it heals fast. Usually, I'm terrible with uh, that kind of stuff. Yeah, that one's pretty rough. So uh, this is the end of this vlog. I think this is just like a casual. This is what it's like surfing almost every day. We surfed five days last week. We we realized it was like didn't don't didn't go Monday. And Tuesday, Wednesday, took Thursday off, and then Friday, Saturday, Sunday. <laughs> and that's kind of what it's been like. We took Monday yesterday off, and uh, pretty much. All of my time yesterday got sucked up by making um, this week's pattern. Things always take so much longer than I think they will. Last week also took a long time, but that's because I did it from scratch. Um, I'm sorry for the noise. It is sirens, dishes. 
Let me show you. Last week's pattern, I actually really love how it turned out. I just wanted to do something with the childless cat lady. Um, you know, infamous JD Vance quote that's been going viral. Um, but this is what I came up with, which I think is so cute. It's like a tarot card for the childless cat lady. I like the angry cat glaring at you. Um, that was last week. And then this week I did um, a Taylor Swift like lyric quote. Um, I wanted something like feminine and cute and kind of simple. Um, this one's from the song Seven. So let's see. This one also took forever because lettering just always takes so long. But fast down like folk songs are love lasts so long. It's kind of folksy and cute, kind of retro looking. Um, that one was fun to make, but it did take forever. I worked for nine and a half hours straight yesterday. So uh, I'm ready to get out, out, out into the water today and take a break from sitting in front of the computer, which means that. This vlog will probably be going live tomorrow instead of today, but that's okay. <laughs> we were both so sore yesterday. Yeah. It's not even funny. Yeah, I am. Um, the main issue is my ribs. My ribs, like, I, don't, I can't show this baggy dress. My ribs stick out <laughs> a little bit. I think um, partly it's just that I don't have a lot of like ab muscles, and part of it is that I have spent most of my life slouching, which you know pushes your rib cage out a little bit more. So my body is not um, well suited to surfing. It's something that just, I think I just have to get through, but they are they are pretty consistently bruised, um, which is the biggest hurdle with uh, surfing for me right now. We both get a little rashy here and there, but that's also just something you have to get through. So that's the, that's the scoop. Um, I, I haven't looked at any of the footage yet. It's probably gonna be more Vincent than me because Vincent had the, um, the GoPro on his board and then tucked in his wetsuit more than I had it on me. Um, but I hope you guys enjoy. It's just, this has been our everyday life. So it's a, it's a true to life kind yeah, of a uh, California vlog. I got one good video to go, I think. Yeah, you did. Batch. You got a few. Yeah. I can't wait to look at them. And uh, oh, perfect timing. So, <laughs> that being said, thanks so much for watching. Catch you uh, in the next couple weeks. I've been doing a vlog every other week because we just don't have enough to do to do a vlog every week and also they take me so long to edit so um catch you in two weeks no but you know you know it's it's normal like you're, you're just making sure you're being very mindful about what you're very demure very very, demure, very mindful <laughs> about what you're sharing on the internet very good <laughs> okay bye guys